notifications. Uh, so I hope that you and your teams hit the um, uh, qualifications if you, if you were uh, trying to do that. The, uh, there is a, the kind of little tweak on that that we'll talk about later on because you can still get people to um, uh, Brazil, but you can't get any more room allocations because it means that we have filled the resort. And this is a bigger resort than Mauritius. Uh, we have uh, so many rooms there that are just, there are no rooms for any other people. This will be a branded event. There will be a Leo branding all over the place. And we're basically taking over this resort for the better part of the week. And um, uh, Asia Pacific, uh, as per normal, have done phenomenally well uh, throughout the Asia Pacific region, and especially in our Chinese speaking community. Uh, we have lots of qualifiers, uh, a, a, another 10 qualifiers uh, from there. But also in Europe, uh, Mohammed Hassan and, and Christine uh, Luzju, I guess we pronounce that that way. Uh, congratulations to, to you guys as well, as well as Africa. Uh, and the Dubai region. Uh, now, we, 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 we have a real United Nations flavor going on here. Uh, because if you look at the numbers, uh, Asia Pacific has done over half of the qualifications, but the rest of the world has done the other half. Uh, and that means uh, that we, uh, across the, uh, the different countries uh, and different regions, we have local representation from 20 different countries. And, and that, for me, is my greatest pleasure and, and joy and, and pride, really, because um, I don't know if it's because I'm from Sweden, but when, when we started Leo, it was always my aspiration and my vision to have this global multicultural business in different languages, representing different cultures, representing different economies, uh, to kind of prove to the world that people can work together uh, despite their differences, that people can do good work together and can unite in, in a cause. Uh, and, and I think that Brazil and Rio de Janeiro will be our biggest evidence and demonstration of this because we will have 20 countries there. We will have uh, people from all over the world coming together into a United Nations of entrepreneurship and a United Nations of Leo, so 20 different countries, which is quite extraordinary for what we still is a, a relatively young company. Uh, it's just nice that we have this global traction because that means if we have 20 countries represented uh, there, it means that we have 20 countries in the world that can create an associate or higher business, if you like. Uh, and then for all of those associates, uh, they'll, uh, I think that these 20 countries represent uh, in a 2080 rule kind of fashion, uh, I think that we probably have uh, active members in, in 100 countries around the world now. And I, I guess I'd have to analyze the sales numbers to, to prove that. Uh, maybe it's only 50, maybe it's only 60. Uh, I don't know what the right numbers are on a weekly sales basis, but we have people and our network all around the world is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So, happy days. In that vein, uh, we also uh, celebrate on these calls and kind of share uh, community events that happen. And, and for some reason, every week, there's always something happening in Toronto. I, I, I love that. Uh, uh, the, the, the big picture in the, the middle there, there's Stone is, is our leader. Uh, for this business and, and, and internationally as well. He's got a huge global business. Uh, but Stone is a very clever chap because he's surrounded himself by incredibly dynamic and, and attractive women in his business. And they're always, every week, organizing an event. So congratulations to you. And I, I see that we always, on this call, have people from Canada uh, as well. I, I saw Wendy uh, Zhao later on. Hello, Wendy. I hope you're all right. Uh, but well done, Stone, for organizing a Leo family birthday party. And um, fantastic. Now, in the Philippines, uh, uh, Rachel is another one of these dynamic women. And uh, uh, again, very proud of our business in the Philippines because it's, it's um, long term, it's stable, it's, it's moving along, it's, it's slowly building a real business. And this is all centered around uh, the efforts of the, of the leaders there, obviously, uh, uh, Rachel and, and the, uh, oh God, uh, Eric uh, to her right to the left of, of, of Rachel in the picture. Uh, they organize these fantastic events and, and community activities uh, in the Philippines, which is no small feat, really, because the Philippines is a, is a difficult country with lots of challenges, I'm, I'm sure. And I, I, I'm not sort of 
uh, wise enough to comment on any of those. But I know from a direct selling perspective, the market, the country, has been hit by so many scams and so many illegitimate businesses that have basically gone in and stolen people's money. Uh, and so to be building a legitimate business like Leo in there uh, is a great counterpoint to all of the scams that have gone before. And, and we started Leo Philip in 2014 from memory uh, and have had our fair uh, share of challenges. Just nice to see the efforts that you're making there, the, the, the leaders uh, led by, uh, by Eric and uh, Rachel. Well done, you guys. Now, Leo coined market service, the LMS, uh, is in full swing, and we have uh, made available the option for people to swap out the LMS for the DMS, or the, swap the DMS for the LMS. And uh, people have taken this up with um, uh, force. We're, we're not recommending or pushing either, because it's kind of a big uh, decision, if you like. But, but uh, Bitcoin is still at the six and a half thousand dollar level and if it keep which is not insignificant and it, it's absolutely fantastic but we're coming up to a little watershed moment in bitcoin for, for 2018 which is that if we get through to november at the current levels and values of bitcoin then it'll be at a similar level or a same level as it was 12 months ago that happens in November and that's kind of an interesting moment because uh, then you're either committed to the long term of, of Bitcoin or you have to accept that for these 12 months we had a blip in the market up into Christmas when it went up to almost twenty thousand dollars and then it went down six and a half thousand is, is not to be uh, cried at uh, but everyone is hoping for another rise if it doesn't come, who knows what will happen to uh, the stability of Bitcoin and what have you. On the other hand, the new kid on the block, uh, which is still from 2014, um, is Leo Coin, and we're upgrading to Leo Coin version 3, going on to the Ethereum platform, uh, doing cool things. And the price point of uh, Leo Coin is much, 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 much lower, meaning that it's relatively speaking much easier for the price to have an impact. Uh, and uh, having spoken to some of our leaders who have indeed swapped out the DMS for the LMS, this is their rationale and gamble, I think, uh, that Leo Coin has a great chance to do incredibly well compared to Bitcoin. And if uh, the, the price of Leo Coin goes from its current levels, um, it, it doesn't take very much to work out that you can double, treble, four double, tenfold your money if things happen that way. Now, I can't make any predictions. This is a totally irrational market. Uh, the, the, the whole digital currency economy is, is not, I, I say smilingly, it's, it's not a sane place because uh, it, it seems that uh, it's, it's affected by confidence more than anything else. What we are doing is we're building confidence in Leo Coin because of the funky things that we're doing, the new technologies that we're bringing into it, uh, the top of tier platform that we're going on to with Ethereum, and the community and sales driven incentive mechanisms that that new platform allows us to do will be incredible. So we'll have new merchant program, we're working on that now, new exchanges, new proof of stake, new smart contracts, this, new wallets, everything. So, so we will have a big surge of news and the, the kind of confidence that this will build should do amazingly. Uh, having said that, we, we know that we have a lot of uh, stakeholders of, of Leo Coin, which in itself is very, very powerful. But we also have lots of people that will probably want to cash out, so it, it's, it's hard to say what's going to happen. But the whole digital currency space is uh, also getting sort of getting mixed messages at the moment because there are, there are countries that are very anti it and there's countries that are very uh, for it. China did something very interesting in this week because in court they gave validity really not quite for the first time but this is this is one of the strongest points in the legal framework that a court in china ruled that while this might not be a currency uh, it is still a general property and therefore a, a, an owner of this has legal rights and if china goes out and says that and, and recognizes something through their legal system suddenly oh that's interesting uh, there's a, a report 
Taj, uh, we haven't got the link here because uh, it's in Chinese anyway, I guess, uh, but there, there, there was a big news feature on their national television, CCTV, and uh, they were also saying that in the last 12 months, the Chinese digital economy has grown by 20%, uh, which again is incredibly Sensible projection is that the numbers will go down. Just saying, uh, it could be the absolute the opposite. So don't hold me to that. But I'm saying it's likely to go down, whereas the LMS has got every potential to go up. So that's all I'll say about that. Now we are all uh, out there educating people. We're educating our new consumers, our new members, and and, and all of our people. And Andy Hansen, who is on the call, but we couldn't hear him before. Uh, I don't know if he's got a microphone problem or not. Um, Andy, try to unmute yourself and say hello. I'm fully unmuted and I'm saying hello. Ah, very good. How are you? I'm fine. Goodness gracious. I don't know what happened then before. Yeah, yeah. I do apologize. So how excited are you about going to Guadeloupe? I'm very, very excited. I'm always excited to go to a live seminar, but I'm looking forward to going out to Guadeloupe to work with the team there, with Patrice and Isabel and all of the team there, because they've got such a great business building there, and uh, we've not been there for quite some time. And it will be the first live seminar we do with the new VIP element in it. So we're very, very excited about that too. By all means, just carry on talking. Uh, okay, okay fine, here. fine. And then, <laughs> if, that, <laughs> if that's not enough, I'm off to Finland to see Magnus and Raoul and all of the team there. So the big, big event happening there as well. So that's on the 24th of November. So for any of you that are in that area, then get your tickets quickly. It will sell out for sure. And also, if you have any prospects in that area that you'd like to redeem one of your live seminar tickets for, it's a great way for them to see the business. They'll be looked after well. They can come to the live seminar and attend the Discover Leo afterwards. So that's our Finland one, which will be happening on the 24th of November. We've got lots of events planned. Um, we have already scoped out all of 2019 for events all around the world, and all of the regions. That looks very, very exciting. And uh, we're it, looking... it does sound a bit crazy because I, I, I saw some of the emails flying around on the event schedules and things that you're working on. And, and you really want to conquer the world one uh, venue at a time, don't you? Yeah, I think the live seminars is one of our most tangible products because people physically sit there they have a whole day there where they're learning and they're learning about the their business they're learning about themselves they're learning about what they can do and uh, i think but off the top of my head i'm i've got a schedule for 30 live seminars next year myself mm -hmm. um that doesn't take into account what you and me here and dare say a few others will be up to so we're just trying to get the whole year's plan out so that all of our leaders know when we're coming and they can be building into those meetings yeah, because I, I think it's I think it's fair to say that we've had a big push in the business, and uh, and I actually was uh, sharing on the Chinese call that uh, uh, September sales is the record-breaking month that we've ever had as a company, and and that's quite cool uh, because we've we've had months where we've spiked higher, but I quite like the, the the sense that I have in the business now that we have sustainable momentum and and, and duplication going on, uh, and so for that, that that that's very very positive for me because I. I, I kind of hate this feast and famine cycle where you sort of burst through. But I think what's also fair to say is that people have been pushing very, very hard. So we're now in a little bit of a uh, cruise period, if you like. And uh, I'm not going to say anything more than cruise period because I think some of the announcements <laughs> we're going to make 
very soon about uh, cruise periods being over uh, will be very much part of the cruise landscape uh, as we go forward. <laughs> Just planting a hint there. Uh, but um, <laughs> so, so we'll have some very exciting things for you uh, coming up because um, uh, we, we want to keep on pushing and we want to keep people making money and, uh, and it's incredible some of the incomes that we're seeing there. But we also have, for the first time again, Andy, in Leo's history, had a sellout uh, or qualify for qualification out event called Brazil. We have, and it's really a testimony to not only the company, but for having the vision to do this, but the leaders who have worked so hard to ensure that as many of their team as possible qualify. And if we look at you know the hard facts of this, we're going to end up in a position where the attendees in Brazil will be well over double what we had in Mauritius which is fantastic mm. news. And we could actually conceivably have somewhere in the region of 700 guests there. Now, when we look back at Mauritius, that is an enormous growth. And it creates a headache for 2020, because if we talk about that later, you and I. Well, I think um, it into something interesting for them. I think it would be something that they've probably all dreamt about and the sort of numbers we're looking at now would enable us to be able to do that sort of thing. Yeah. So uh, tell me, what does this mean if you're qualified already and you're qualified for an odd number? Because uh, I think that you might need to explain that to people. Okay, so if you've qualified for two tickets yourself for Brazil, then you can't qualify for any more tickets because there's two people in the room. So it may well be that Dan's qualified and he's taken his lovely wife Olivia with him with the two tickets he's qualified for. Or he may be bringing one of his team that he feels is worth the gift of that ticket. If, I would never however, bring them Ever. No, well, that's probably not a smart idea, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you've qualified for an odd number, so a lot of you have qualified for one ticket, there's obviously a spare bed space in your room, which means you can still qualify to the end of October to fill that bed space. So there's two of you in the room. If you've qualified for three tickets, then you've already been issued two rooms, which means that you've still got a spare bed because it will bed up to two people per room, which is four. So if you qualified for an odd number, keep working, keep pushing, keep helping people to see why Leo is going to help them change their lives. And then you can get another ticket and make sure all the beds in your allocated rooms are filled. So there's still plenty of time if you've qualified for an odd number of tickets. Plenty of time. Mm. You've got to the end of this month, which gives you 29 days. So, you know, you must get your skates on. Yeah, very good. So there's still a reason for people to not give up if, if they want to take their partner or, or, or a partner in their business with them. Uh, they can. Yeah, and obviously, if you don't want to, then no one's going to force you to room share. No, no one will be forced to room share. And all I would say is to everybody that's online now, if you're thinking, oh, it doesn't matter, I'll buy in. There's not going to be any buy-ins, ladies and gents. Not unless can you, really, you... Can you really say that? Can you really say well, that? that the only way there's going to be a buy-in is someone that has qualified is prepared to let you buy in and share their room and bed which I think is going to be quite unlikely in most cases. So okay. please don't rely on buy-ins. It's not going to be a big thing. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I, I, I know that people kind of got the message, but uh, the, uh, being a qualified out a, a, a event incentive, uh, do you think that we set the bar too low or, or, or was it a reasonable effort that was required? What was what's your sense from speaking to the field? Um, I think speaking to the field, they'll tell you that the bar was set perfectly. If we look at it from a corporate perspective, I think it's maybe time to consider raising the bar for 2020 um, mm -hmm. because this is a lot of people that have qualified in a relatively short period of time. You know, to really have qualified out with a month still to go is unheard of. So yeah. it, it depends who you're talking to, but I think we maybe need to edge up the qualification for next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and uh, obviously people, uh, this uh, breaking associate has worked quite well for us. Uh, from one perspective uh, but i've also had uh, people from the field saying to me that we need to do something for for left and right leg people are building organizations people are networking and, and, and trying to build things on smaller volumes and what have you and, and i think there's a fair point there so we will certainly look at that for, for when we launch the next incentive uh, and there's plenty of ideas on the table very cool uh, so uh, thanks for that andy uh, I'll, I'll take over the boring bits here now
uh, uh, but well done on, on all of your efforts with the live seminars and the trainings and uh, everything else that you're working because I know there's a there's a ton of stuff on your on your desk and uh, and seriously people uh, Andy Hansen is, is making a difference to our business every day in ways that it's hard for me to even verbalize um, the Hong Kong office is closed today for National Day uh, it's closed on the 17th of October for uh, Chung Yung Festival uh, and China, uh, our support office over there is closed uh, for, for this week from the 1st to the 7th of October. Canada has a Thanksgiving Day next Monday and Karachi, our sales agency office over there uh, on the 9th and 10th of October is closed for Muharram. Uh, so uh, uh, those are the uh, bits there. Uh, so in, in general terms, there's no particular specific uh, earth-shattering call to action uh, it's kind of speak to more people use the product packs to generate excitement the product packs are, are hitting the sweet spot now we're seeing duplication and marketing activities in all markets built around the product packs uh, the e-learning is working incredibly well now the live seminar ticket Kids is, is generating excitement uh, and of course then we have sort of the ownership programs that that adds uh, spice on top of that with without killing the baby by by being just the only thing that the business is so make sure that you fill your room if you qualified for Brazil uh, and join us in Guadeloupe and Finland and look forward to next week when we're going to give you lots more events that are happening in the very very near future but in the Meanwhile, this is Dan Anderson saying thank you very much indeed for coming on this webinar. Uh, thank you very much indeed for supporting uh, the Leo business and, and, and for uh, having a faith in us to uh, help you build the success that you want. Uh, we, we know that without a field, we don't have a business and, and your success is kind of our success. And, and every company says that, but I think that we demonstrate now after six years that we really take that seriously. Uh, we, we don't sort of kind of try to kill the business by being greedy. Uh, we're trying to build a long-term sustainable business. Uh, we're doing everything from a legally compliant perspective. Uh, we treat uh, markets differently depending on their legislative uh, framework. Uh, and so overall, as a CEO of this company, I'm very, very proud of what we're achieving together. But I know that uh, none of this would happen without you guys and your support. So thank you for that. And we haven't even started yet, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing what we can do together to take this company to a 10 times bigger company uh, over the next few years. So this is Dan Anderson saying thank you very much indeed for coming on the webinar, and look forward to speaking to you again next week.